Ah, uh, Melinda. So, <laughs> there's this new game that's coming out, and I really want to get it. Um, don't you already have a ton of games? I mean, I wouldn't say a ton, but I got, I got a few. Have you even played all of the games you have? Mm, she had a point. It seemed silly that I had all these games, but I've only played like 10 of them. <laughs> yeah? What kind of... It, 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 it take me for who buys a game with, uh, with no intention of playing them, huh? Alright. So, I made a deal to myself that before I buy another game, I'm going to play each and every one of these games. The first on the list was Action Hank, a platform racing game set in a toy world, which I have to admit is not at all what I thought it was. I honestly can't remember how it even made its way into my library, but based on the cover photo on Steam, I figured it was more of a third-person action game similar to the LEGO video game series. However, I was pleasantly surprised with how much fun I actually had within those first few tracks. Left trigger to slide. Oh, okay. Okay. Having only played racing games that involve cars, this was a nice little twist to what I was used to. The smooth mechanics of butt sliding your way into faster level completion made me feel like I was once again a kid on the playground. That fun was immediately diminished once the game decided to up its ante. <laughs> <laughs> what? I finished right at the same time as her. And within 15 minutes of the game, the swear words started to roll. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that one. What in the f f fuck? What am I doing? What the f kind of flappy bird sh I quickly became frustrated as it felt like there was a big jump from those easy levels to the levels that required the moonshot. This sh gave me like a new appreciation for Spider Man and what Spider Man does. Because this sh is hard. I did, however, play with the gold ghost, which filled me with more rage as I kept losing to this imaginary businessman. You. Oh my gosh. So maybe my anger was self-inflicting. Maybe I should start with the gold ghost so that I know what it's like to lose. At a certain point, I just accepted that I could not always beat the golden ghost. Oh, and that was the end, huh? Okay. You know, I'm good with silver. I don't know. We don't need gold for everything. Gold's not, you know. <laughs> However, it got to a point where I couldn't even complete the track. I gotta, I know I'm not gonna beat him, but I just wanna see if I could finish, and I can't. It's sloppy, but we'll go with it. Mm hmm See if I can make the jump. <laughs> the effort was there. My rage started to turn into insanity. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, roger that. This is hard. <laughs> this game is getting hard. I don't like it. Oh, what in the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was uh, uh, madness. Madness, I say. Damn, that was, that was stupidly hard, right? That was dumb. I hate that. I hate everything about this game. Can't wait to just beat it, you know? My lighthearted competitive spirit turned into an obsession of perfection, ensuring that I get every move right or else I would restart the level. Wait. Sneaky. Despite my absolute anger, the ultimate satisfaction of beating a level I spent hours on was very rewarding. Oh, can he go all the way? Cedar, you know, like a tree. Yeah, boy! Easy. That was easy. In order to find joy, one must experience misery. And boy, was I miserable 87% of the time. <laughs> okay. But much like any game, as you get better, the feeling of improving is why I continued to play. Oh, okay. 
I think I gotta get punched, but then jump over that one. That second one. Mmm. There we go. There we go. Will I visit this game again? Perhaps. But for now, I can at least say, yes, honey, I've played that game. Thank <laughs> you.